The universe will manifest for you anything that you assume will happen to you. It's that simple. But many people struggle because of it. Throughout life, we're taught to see, to believe. We're taught to get out of our heads and stop imagining things. We're taught to believe only in what we can physically see, not in our minds. But the problem with this is that if you follow this belief, nothing will manifest in your life. The only thing that will manifest in your life are the things that are happening in your life, and this is called a reality loop. You will keep manifesting the same things repeatedly because you see, recreate, then see again and recreate again. Nothing created by humans in this world happened with this belief. The belief of seeing is believing did not work. Your phone, your computer, your car, your building, your house, your faucet were all created from the opposite of seeing, is believing they didn't see it physically because it didn't exist. They saw it in their heads, imagined it in their heads. Seeing to physically believe is flawed. And if you continue with that mindset, you'll keep creating and manifesting. The same old things. Nothing new will come into your life. Every great inventor saw something in their mind, all of them before it, manifested. We are capable of creating whatever we want. We have all this power. But continue to create the same things, the same money, the same job, the same love life, and the same health. And it's time to break free from this. And we can. So the first thing is to get out of the mentality that you have to see, to believe that you have to see it physically before it manifests, because that's not how it works. Just look at everything in your life, everything in your house, and realize that this thinking is flawed. It's very flawed. This is why most people don't use the law of assumption, because you have to literally assume that some is happening. You have to assume that you are living that life now if you want to create a business or manifest a lot of money or health or love or whatever you want to manifest, but you don't have much of it in your life. 99% of people will visualize, reach a lot of money, a lot of love, or a lot of health. They will feel good while visualizing, see it in their minds and feel happy. Then they will come out of the visualization and focus on the life they have now. It may not happen immediately. They may feel good for a day or two days or a week, but after a while, they will start focusing on the life they have now. And this will create their endless reality loop that will prevent them from manifesting their desire. The people who manifest anything in their lives, be it a lot of money, a lottery prize. It's because they believed more in the vision than in the outside world. They assumed it would happen. Because when you assume something is going to happen, you don't go looking for it. When you assume something is going to happen, you don't feel like giving up. You don't feel like ending it all. Because you know that no matter what, as long as you continue, it will happen. Just like you assume you will wake up in the morning. Just like you assume that when you plant a seed in the ground, it will grow. You have to assume that your manifestation will too. So when you're visualizing your desire having it in your life, you need to find a way out of that visualization, but also ignore the reality in the parts that you don't want. In your new reality, this is difficult. And the truth is, it's hard. If it wasn't difficult, everyone would have the desire they want, especially those who know about the law of attraction and know about manifesting their reality. This is partly because of our subconscious. Our subconscious wants us to stay in the same life we have because it's safe. It keeps us alive. The purpose of your subconscious is to keep you alive, and if it starts changing your beliefs, if you start having a new reality, it opens a gate of possible ways to die, and it will try to protect you and keep you in the same place. But we all know that's not true. This is just your brain and your subconscious trying to trick you. So realize that whenever you feel doubt about your manifestation, wondering where it is if it's coming, realize it's your subconscious trying to keep you where you are. If it were up to your subconscious, it would keep you in bed all day, or at least at home, so you don't die. So don't listen to your subconscious. And if you want to manifest anything in your life, assume it's here. Now use the law of assumption to your advantage. 
and assume it will happen. You shouldn't use thinking for the future. I know that when we talk about visualization, you may think you're waiting for something to happen, but that's not what it means. It means you're imagining it happening now, so you're not imagining where you're going to live in the future. For example, if you're visualizing a mansion, you need to visualize being in that mansion now. So when you close your eyes and you're sitting on your couch or chair, you need to visualize that around you. Now house. It's very easy with eyes closed and that's why the power of imagination and people who can imagine things more easily than others will allow them to manifest more easily as well. So you must assume you must assume you have the life you want now. Literally this very second, we are very focused on the past and the future. And this also goes back to your subconscious because it wants to focus on the past to make sure you don't repeat the same mistake you might have made 20 years ago or even 20 days and on the future because it wants to make sure it can think of all possible scenarios that might hurt you. Don't let your subconscious control. You are powerful and separate from your brain, which is why you can observe your thoughts as they pass. We are more than these bodies, and you can really have whatever you want in this life. Look at all the evidence of people who have manifested what they wanted in this life. Look at anyone who knows about the law of attraction and tries to intentionally manifest something they want. Listen to their words, and you'll see they assume they had what they wanted— don't get confused with visualizing in the future and expecting it to happen. You must assume it's now close your eyes. Think about your desire, see it in your head, but also feel it in your body. So when your eyes are closed and you are visualizing, also visualize your surroundings. Now do this often and ignore the reality you're in. And this is the perfect formula to manifest your desires. Our external world is a reflection of our internal beliefs, assumptions, and expectations. If you consistently and vividly imagine and believe in a desired outcome, it will manifest in your life by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. You will align your mental and emotional state with already possessing what you desire, which attracts those conditions into your reality. Our subconscious mind is deeply influenced by our assumptions when a belief is firmly held and consistently reaffirmed it. Imprints on the subconscious, which then works to manifest that belief in tangible ways, by assuming the desired state as if it were already true. You pro-program your subconscious mind to find ways to bring that state into physical form— this requires maintaining a persistent mental focus and an emotional alignment with the assumed reality regardless of current external circumstances. The subconscious plays a fundamental role in creating our reality as it is responsible for carrying out many of the beliefs and patterns we hold. It does not distinguish between reality and imagination. It simply accepts as true what it is repeatedly given once an idea is imprinted on the subconscious it begins to influence our actions, thoughts, and emotions, manifesting itself in the events we experience the process of manifestation. Through the subconscious occurs when we saturate our minds with a clear and vivid image of what we desire, accompanied by the feeling of already possessing it. When we repeatedly nurture this image with emotions, it roots itself deeply in the subconscious, which begins to work to transform it into reality. This can manifest in various ways, whether through inspirations, unexpected opportunities, or changes in external circumstances for the subconscious consistency is essential. It operates under the impressions it receives repeat repeatedly and does not question whether an idea is true or not. It simply seeks to manifest what has been imposed on it. In this way, it is essential to monitor the thoughts and feelings we feed. It the influence of the subconscious, in manifestation, is also linked to its ability to operate beyond logical and rational consciousness. Often the desired changes arise in ways we do not anticipate as the subconscious operates on a level of infinite possibilities. The true power lies in consciously aligning our intentions with the feelings of already possessing what we desire, trusting the subconscious to find the appropriate means to fulfill these intentions. Personal beliefs are like scripts that dictate the roles we play and the experiences we attract as we navigate life. 
our consciousness acts as a director. Cho choosing which scripts to follow and which role to play. When we change these scripts, our core beliefs, we alter the course of our narrative. This transformation occurs through deliberate and focused intention in embodying new roles. Our conscious realm is where possibility meets reality in this space. Powerful. Transformations can be achieved by shifting our focus from what is to what could be every thought and feeling is a brush stroke on the canvas of our reality. Change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world you live in. Do not try to change people. They are merely messengers telling you who you are. Our external world is a reflection of our internal state, a mirror showing the one image we have of ourselves by altering our consciousness, reimagining and assuming new possibilities. We effectively rewrite our destiny to reflect these changes. Visualization and meditation are potent tools. In shaping reality through the law of assumption, these practices allow us to create and solidify the future we desire by planting vivid images and feelings in our consciousness. When we visualize, we deeply engage with our inner selves, creating detailed mental images of the outcomes we wish to manifest. This act is similar to rehearsing a play before the actual performance. The scenes we mentally visualize prepare us for their realization in real life for effective visualization. Start by defining a clear and specific desire. Imagine the scenario as a current reality. Engage all senses in this mental rehearsal if your your goal is to excel in a job interview. Imagine even the firm handshake. The confident voice and the satisfied smile of your potential employer feel the emotions associated with success, pride relief, happiness as vividly as possible. Using a multi-sensory approach anchors an experience more deeply within you, making it part of your subconscious. Our self-concept is ENT, L our internal narrative, the story. We tell ourselves about who we are and what we are capable of achieving when this narrative is limited. Our possibilities in life are too expanding. Our self-concept requires consistent effort and mindfulness. It involves challenging the ingrained beliefs and assumptions that define our limitations. Imagine that you are an artist before a blank canvas with the free to create any image you choose. This canvas represents your life and the images you create on it are dictated by your self-concept. If you see yourself as lacking creativity, the canvas remains blank. However, if you believe in your artistic abilities, vibrant images begin to form to change our self-concept. We must first identify the traits we wish to embody and then assume the feeling of already possessing them. Practicing this new role in our daily lives reinforces the belief in our minds making it a natural aspect of our identity. For example, if you aspire to be more confident, act as if you are already confident. Speak with authority, make decisions decisively and face challenges calmly over time. These behaviors become second nature and your self-concept adjusts to incorporate this newfound confidence, ignore appearances, conditions. In fact, all the evidence of your senses that deny the fulfillment of your desire. Rest in the assumption that you already are what you want to be for. In this determined assumption, you and your infinite self are fused in creative unity, and with your infinite self, all things are possible. Begin by visualizing yourself as the ideal version of who you wish to become. Engage in this visualization, regularly feeling the reality of this ideal state in every action and thought. The Motivation to maintain this practice comes from a deep understanding that you are actively shaping your destiny with every thought and assumption you choose to accept. Reflect deeply on the beliefs you carry with you on what assumptions shape your daily experience, whether they build a bright future full of possibilities or confine you to a cycle of fear and limitation.